Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your Hello, hi, and welcome! It's your boy Neglected Gundam here for the very first time. I've been a Gundam modeler for about 10-15 to 15 years, and I hope that you go on this journey with me as I build models, show you how to fix them, and all the projects that I have in my mind and bringing those projects to life. But before we get into any of that, I'm going to make this video because you typed in, what is Gunpla? But you'll also notice on that title it says, what is Gunpla to me? So first we're gonna go over a brief history of what Gunpla is, and then I'll be giving you a breakdown of what it is to me and where I would like to go with this channel. So stay tuned, buckle your seatbelts, and let's go for a ride. Alright, so a good starting point for what is Gunpla is this Gundam right here. This nice model kit that I know you've seen in your life a couple times. This guy is so famous and so popular and he's the face of what Gundam is. But that doesn't explain the answer of what Gunpla is, so let's get into that now. So in a very quick response to what is Gunpla, Gunpla is a play on words, so it's two words it is Gundam, Gundam models basically, and plastic. So it's a combination of those two words, Gundam model and plastic, so Gunpla. This Gundam's name is literally Gundam, or otherwise known as RX-78-2. He is the front runner of the show, Universal Century Gundam, which was made back in 1979. A very popular anime, but it was tasked with a very important role of selling merchandise or selling toys. Now, Gundam has been around for over 40 years. And because it's been around for so long, that is a testament to how well their products were received and how well the show was received and what toy line it was able to produce from that. Now, as the years went on, Bandai, which is the company that made the show, produced model kits. And every year those model kits got better. Over the years, Bandai has become a lot better at model building. So what they first came out with were models that were a bit chunky and needed a lot of work to produce and put together as the consumer. However, that didn't stop people from building them and getting very good at that craft and art to be able to build an amazing piece that sat on their shelf. As the years went on, Bandai focused on different sizes and different grades of the models that they were building. So, different sizes, there's predominantly three different sizes that these Gundam models will be, and there are different grades. Now what is a grade you might ask? Now if I come down here, this will be a good starting point for what I want to say about all the grades. And although there are more than four grades, I'm not going to get into more than just the four that I'm going to talk about now. So those grades, the four, would be high grade, real grade, master grade, and perfect grade. Now you'd be asking yourself, what does that mean? So when you buy a model kit, in one of the corners of the box, they will have what it is. So here you'll see you have high grade, real grade, and master grade, MG master grade. Now, what are the differences between these grades? Now let's pause here for a second. You'll notice that these suits are different sizes, and you might ask yourself, the different sizes, does that incorporate what type of grade it is? And the quick answer to that is no. So you'll see here, this is the smaller suit. It's in scale 1 1 44th. So that is the smallest scale that Bandai offers in the mainstream Gunpla community. So this suit here is a high grade. 
And if I come back here, you'll see a slightly larger suit. That is in scale 1 100th. That's the medium size, but that also is a high grade as well. In the suit in the back, you'll see towers over the others. That is a 1 60 scale. This one here is a perfect grade. The different sizes do not typically mean the different grades. The different grades refer to what is happening inside the Gundam. And a good starting point for that is knowing what an inner frame is. So if I come over here to the gold suit, the Hyakushiki, you can see a good example of what inner frame is. Where that armor separates in the legs, you can see the inner mechanics of what holds the armor on. So basically everything that makes the Gundam move. So that's going to be the frame and the electronics, the pistons, things like that. And then the armor goes on top of that. The inner frame is a good starting point to know what is in the grade that you're buying and what you're getting into when you purchase a Gundam. Now that you know what an inner frame refers to, now we can go over what the different grades mean. So here on our lamp that you've seen before, we have on the very top a high grade. So the high grade line is not going to have an inner frame inside. It's going to be smaller than the other Gundams predominantly because like I said, they do have the medium size that's high grade and they also do have the bigger ones in high grade as well. But predominantly the high grades are going to be the smaller suits and it has a more wide variety of what's available. Mainly because it doesn't have an inner frame, it's easier for Bandai to produce those suits. So if you have a suit in mind, chances are high grade will have that suit in its lineup. I'm going to show you the master grade next. So master grades do have inner frames. That's where that was introduced in the line. Those suits are, I would say, kind of the sweet spot of what you would want on your shelf. I would say most people have master grades on their shelves. They are not too big, not too small. They have the inner frame and they are just excellent build qualities. I'm going to gloss over perfect grade really quick and go to real grade. So real grade is typically around the same size as a high grade and those, like I said, are predominantly the smaller ones. However, high grades do get to be bigger sizes. But for the sake of this video, real grades are roughly the same size as the high grades and those are going to be the smaller Gundams in the lineup. Now real grade takes the example from master grade and has the inner frame incorporated inside. Now these are very nice suits whereas the high grades need a little bit of work. They may have some pieces in the armor that are hollow and don't have much detail. They could be lacking in that department. However the real grades take what master grade has done and scaled it down. So you have a very articulate, very detailed model in a very small space on your shelf. Now I would recommend real grade for someone that's been in the game for a little bit that has built more than a couple high grades, a couple master grades, and then they can finally get into real grade when they deal with all the complicated small parts. And then the perfect grade, which I don't actually have any boxes for at the moment, I'll just zoom in on Perfect Grade Mark II. Sorry for the shadows. They also have an inner frame. Every single one of them has the inner frame. And they are bigger. They take up more real estate on your shelf. However, if you build one of the old ones, you will be absolutely blown away by the inner mechanics of the inner frame. They have pistons. They have sculpted details. They have springs. When you build the leg, for example, they have springs, so it's almost like if that Gundam was walking, it's going to have suspension. And it's like, you would never see that. If you if you were just someone looking at this model kit on a shelf, you would have no idea that just the leg alone is so amazing underneath. And I think that's what's special about building Gunpla, is that you can get a sense of just the mechanics and the engineering that goes into building all of these Gundams. It's pretty awesome. So right there you have the four different grades, high grade, real grade, master grade, and perfect grade. My suggestion would be starting with high grades. A good starting point would be to build those suits. They don't have inner frames. It's literally snapping together armor and it is very fun. They are very fun builds and they will get you addicted to Gundam. Now when you're done 
You could even go to an older suit like this, GPO2. Now that's an older master grade, and it is rather simple. It does have a limited inner frame. It is rather simple, however, it is in a bigger scale, and it will get you used to using different sizes of armor and putting them together. When you get a little more confident, you can go to one of the newer master grades. They will have a full articulate inner frame, and it's a little more complicated to put these guys together, a little more steps, a little more time. And then once you've built a couple high grades and a couple master grades, then you can go to real grade. They are smaller master grades. Like I said, there's more pieces than in high grade, and they're a lot smaller. So it's good to get used to high grades, then master grades, and then you can move on to real grade. And I say that because you just have to get used to working with the pieces, clipping them out, and everyone will drop pieces on the ground. I don't care who you are, you will drop a piece on the ground. We call that the void. So you're very lucky when you find that piece and it is a sweet victory when you find that piece that's fallen on the ground. When you spend money on a model kit, you don't really want to lose pieces and it is going to happen. You will lose pieces. They will drop on the ground and you have to find them. Okay, and now that we've gone over all the sizes and the different grades that the Gundams are, I think that's a pretty good starting point to see if you like this hobby. There are certain tools that you will get, and there are certain techniques that you will need to learn. However, it's a lot of fun, and I suggest making a couple models just to see if you like it. I wouldn't let the grades scare you. Just start with high grade like I said and go from there, one step at a time. Just make sure to read the instructions and go one step at a time like I said, and you'll be fine. And this is such a fun hobby. However, I will say you might spend a lot of money. So. Okay, so now that I've gone over an intro to my channel and also a quick description of what Gundam modeling is and how to start, I'd like to explain what Gundam modeling is to me. And to understand what makes Gunpla important to me is understanding where I came from and my family dynamic and situation of when I was younger. So when I was younger, instead of watching sports or celebrating whatever team was on TV, my father, he was heavily involved in art in his life. So my father was a commercial artist. And that being so, he went to art school and he even was an art teacher for a while. So we would sit around the table. And so it would be him, my brother, and I, and we would all practice art at whatever lesson he wanted to show us. So it started with drawing. And then eventually, we got into a little bit of paints. However, I was never very good as, as a kid. But that eventually grew in me to want to produce art. To me, Gunpla is not about buying the Gundams, but mainly it was the ability to practice and focus on and really fine tune my art that drew me in and kept me building and buying Gundams. Now, the engineering side of what Bandai can do with their models is amazing. And I will say that I believe Gundam is the best models on the market. Now I'm pretty happy to see that Bandai is expanding their collection into other markets, other shows and things like that. However, Gundam is the one that really got me excited. So to me, this hobby is more about the art behind the Gundams and the community and the hobby. So basically, I use Gundam as a medium. You clip out the pieces, you sand them down, you even make pieces if you need to, and then you use your artistic ability and foresight to understand what might look good on a piece, plan out the colors, and then do a custom piece. Or just get good at techniques that you find on the internet, and then you start painting and go from there. So that's what draws me into Gundam, and that's what keeps me here. And so if you do become one of my subscribers and you do like this content, we will have a lot of things that we're going to be looking at and going over and projects that I'll be working on on this channel. So some of those things would be the work and projects that I have and also the future builds that I have in mind and also seeing those builds come to life. It would be pretty cool, I think. So over time, Gunpla will break and also another section of this channel will be fixing Gunpla that has broken and just the simple fix or the more complicated fixes that that involves. And over the years, I can tell you I've fixed a lot of Gundams in my time. Also, when I'm done with projects, I do like to do photo shoots. And I have done a couple photo shoots with a couple of my Gundams in the past, and I have posted them to Instagram. 
And then once I finish a project, there will be time to decide what's gonna be the next project. So eventually I'm gonna get done with all the projects that I wanna do. And then I'll have a lot of Gundams that are on the shelf next to me. And I might redirect you guys to Instagram. Take a poll, you know? Let me set up a poll and see which ones you guys wanna see me work on next. And then once that poll is in, I can do that. So it would be quite cool to see which Gundams you would want me to work on as well. And then another quick video idea I had is just the importance of posing. And since I do have a lot of the same models, you can kind of see the importance of posing. I'll go ahead and put them in different poses and you can see what looks good and what doesn't and why posing does matter. And so this channel basically is about me connecting with the community and showing you guys my work. And I hope that you really enjoy it and you get something out of it. As a community, we always bounce ideas off each other. And I really hope that you enjoy the content that I create. My first couple videos will be me unboxing what's on this shelf, everything that's here. And there'll be a couple time-lapse videos and things like that. Basically, I shot those videos first, so I'd have something to look at during this video. But that's what's coming next. I think there's four videos in that style of all the boxes that I shipped to myself from Hawaii. So after this video, get ready for some unboxing videos. We're gonna do it. We're gonna take these guys out. We're gonna put them on the shelf. So let's do it. And then after that, after I get all those videos posted, I'm gonna jump right in. I am going to showcase the Master Grade Heavy Arms EW, and then I will be completing the two Master Grade Heavy Arm Customs. So I hope you enjoy this content, and as a community, I hope that we can bounce ideas off each other and really just get something out of this channel. So I just wanna say thank you, and also, if you do like this content, like, subscribe, and comment on it, and we'll go on this journey together. So until next time, I hope you don't feel that neglected now. So being a combination of those two words, it just makes it easy on us just to call our hobby Gunpla. It's very nice, it's convenient. So that's honestly the easiest and quickest answer I can give to you. So that's what that word means.